Hello everyone, how are you today? Are you good? Hope you all are good. I miss you all grade 3 A and B. Today we have family and friends and I am your teacher, Ms. Shayan. Here we are talking about animals, birds or fish. In unit 5, the topic is about a naughty monkey. Here we have got some vocabularies, some words for animals or birds or fish. The first one, we have a beautiful thing, it's penguin. What? Penguin. This is penguin, okay? Penguin lives in the cold places in Antarctica. And they can swim, they can walk. This is penguin. It's black and white. Number two, we have got a zebra. Zebra. Zebra is black and white. This is zebra. They live in the uh, Africa, in Asia, in Australia, in these places. Zebra. Number three, we have monkey. M-O, be careful. Don't say monkey. It's not monkey. It's monkey okay monkey monkeys are naughty most of them they are naughty and they live in zoo in the forest also this is the monkey monkey monkeys like what bananas they like bananas okay they live in the forest or zoo number four we have kangaroo kangaroo this is a kangaroo. Kangaroo lives most of them in Australia because Australia is famous of uh, kangaroos and koalas. Kangaroo, the female, the mommy kangaroo, has go, have got a pocket here. Okay? Why it has a pocket? It has a pocket to put the baby kangaroo inside when it jumps, when it goes. Okay? This is kangaroo. Kangaroo. Number five, we have camel. Camel. Camel lives in desert. They live in the hot places. They live in desert. This is camel. This one is a camel. Here we have got lizard. Lizard. This is lizard. Lizard is good for eating flies, bees, things, insects for the summer because we get bored from them. This is lizard. Lizard. Okay. Number seven, we have got a beautiful, pretty bird. It's flamingo. Flamingo. Flamingos are pink, some of them are white, they are very beautiful, very pretty. They can also stand by in one leg, like this picture, in the water. Flamingo. Another animal, the last one we have got crocodile. Crocodiles are very dangerous and they are very, very big. They have got a very big, big mouth here. And they are dangerous, they live in dirty water, in the forests, in the seas. These are the, this is the crocodile, crocodile. I will say again the words, try to repeat after me please. Penguin, zebra, monkey, kangaroo, Camel, lizard, flamingo, crocodile. These are the eight words that you have to know them. Please try to read at home. Here we have got a grammar about present continuous. You know that in present continuous, it's about the subject subjects 
plus verb to be plus verb ing then complement the subjects are I you they we and of course we have he she it I is singular because I is singular is one person you have to say I am okay for example I am swimming the verb you have to put here and add ing swim ming okay ing you they we they are the plural subjects you have to put are for example they are dancing or they are running running the last one we have this subject he she it they are also singular but they are different from I they have to use with is is for example he is sitting she is cooking it is drinking he is for example sitting if you make them to question it's so easy you are just putting the verb to be from the first sentence and put the others in the last one and the in the last of the sentence you have to put a question mark for example are you reading the answer should be with yes or no but be careful you have to look at the question okay are you reading it means that for one person okay you have to answer yes I am or no I am not for example if I ask you are you listening to me you have to say yes I am if I ask you a question are you flying you say no I am not okay here we have got he I hope you can see it he she and it for these subjects you have to put the is in the front of the sentence for example is the monkey eating the sandwich yes it is no it isn't why do we answer with it because it's one monkey one animal and for the animals most of the time we use it okay for example if I ask you a question if uh, sorry is the monkey eating banana you say yes it is okay or if it's not you say no it isn't you we they another subject you have to say are they eating you put are for they are they eating yes they are no they aren't for example are we jumping yes we are no we aren't here you have got a picture if I ask you questions about this picture here is the crocodile sleeping no it isn't because the eyes are opening is the bird flying look at the bird is the bird flying no it isn't okay these are the how to make it question and answer them how to ask and how to answer we go to the here this one read and tick here we have got some pictures some questions is the boy reading number one look at the boy is the boy reading yes he is or no he isn't look at the boy it has got a pencil it means that it's not reading it's writing okay so you have to say no 
He isn't reading. He is writing. Number two, are the girls, look, two girls, playing chess because it's two girls. You have to say are. Are the girls playing chess? Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Of course, you have to say yes, they are. Number three, is the monkey playing with a ball? Look at the monkey, he's so happy. Is he, is it, uh, playing with the ball? You say yes, it is or no, it isn't. Of course, you have to say yes, it is. Number four, is mom shopping? Is mom shopping or what? She's doing what? She's cooking. So no, she is not shopping. She is cooking. You can also, instead of the cross, you can tick here. No problem, okay? Question four. Also, many questions for about grammar. We have. Here, number one, two, three, four, and again four pictures for the animals. Question one, are the flamingos flying? Are they flying? No, they aren't. Because you ask with are, you have, you have to answer with are. If the, question, if the answer is yes or no, you have to say yes they are or no they aren't. Number two, look at the lizard. Look at the eyes. Is the lizard sleeping? Yes, it is. You have to write, yes, it is. Number three, is the woman painting? Is the woman painting? No, it isn't. Sorry, no, she isn't. Because it's a woman. No, she isn't. Be careful. Is the woman painting? No, she isn't. She's doing what? She's taking photos of the zebra. Number four, are the monkeys eating bananas? Are they eating bananas? You have to say yes. They are. Yes, they are. These were all about the grammar, present continuous, how to answer them and how to make a question. Here we have got the sounds, the words. We have OR sound. Okay? OR. How do they read? Let's see. The first picture is fork. Okay? Fork. You can eat things with fork, okay? Fork. Number two, horse. Horse is an animal. Horse. Number three, corn. Look again, OR. Corn. Corn is also, you can make a popcorn and eat it. Corn. Here we have got a W. A W sound. How do they read? Let's see. Picture number one, straw. You know what straw? You can drink juice, milk, or uh, for example, coffee, things with the straw, okay? Chocolate milk, straw, straw. Number two, paw, okay? Paw for the animals, paw. Number three, yawn, yawn, okay? Yawn. Here we have got some vocabularies. We can put them in the sentences. The first one is angry. Someone is angry. Angry of something or someone. For example, you can say, he is angry. Look at his face. Like angry birds, you know the cartoon. Angry. Number two, scared. You are scared of a very loud voice or you are scared maybe with a dark place, okay? With a monster, if you see, maybe. Scared. Number three, free. You know, free has two meanings, okay? 
One is when you go to a market, you can get one free. It means that you buy someone something and the other one is for free, okay? But the next meaning for free is you are not inside a prison. You can go outside. For example, this animal is a monkey. If he want to go out, okay, to go to free, to be free, free, okay? Like the birds, they are free. They are flying. Number four, sorry all. When you do a bad thing or a mistake or wrong thing, you want to show sorry. For example, this girl says to dad, I'm sorry I broke it. I did not know. You have to say sorry because sorry is a very good word and it makes you to, uh, to feel polite. Okay? Here we have got funny. Look, this girl make her funny for the friends so that she can laugh. Funny. For example, Mr. Bean is funny or someone is funny. The last word we have kind. Look, this woman wants to cross from the traffic lights. The boy is helping her. So this is a kind thing. When you see your friend or someone is poor or have something, you can go and help them. It's something of kind. This is a very good behavior. Kind. Okay? And this is also a story about the lion and the mouse. We read it and we also answered the questions. Here now we go to the question, sorry, unit six, Jim's day. It's about daily routines or morning routines, okay? Morning routines. Or you can say daily routines. Both of them use for routines, okay? Morning routines or daily routines. You know what is it? Routines? It means that you are repeating the things every day or most of the days. For example, these are eight uh, phrases that maybe most of us having them in the daily or morning routines. This is about, for example, Jimmy's day and about your day, okay, or my day. Each one is different. The first one is have a shower. Have a shower. Some people, they have a shower in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. Have a shower. It's daily, okay? Have a shower. Number two, brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, okay? You know brush? Teeth is something very useful for your teeth. It's very good. You can brush your teeth every morning or at night. So some students or some people, they brush their teeth every morning. So this is repeating time, okay? Daily routines, morning routines, every day. Number three, get dressed. You get dressed. You wear your jacket, you wear your skirt, for example, your trousers. Get dressed. Okay, in the morning when you come to school, you wake up, you get up, of course, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, you wash your hands, and you get dressed, okay? For example, you wear uniform clothes for schools. The number four, have breakfast. In the morning, you have breakfast. You are drinking something, maybe you are drinking milk or juice or tea and bread and corns or yogurt eggs. This is have breakfast. Have breakfast. Number five, brush my hair. Of course, brush my hair for girls and boys. You have to brush your hair in the morning, okay, to make yourself nice. We have also get up. Of course, in the morning, the first thing you wake up. Wake up and get up are different, okay? Wake up, it means that you open your eyes. But get up, what it means is that you get out from the bed, okay, like that, get up. And catch the bus, catch the bus. Okay, some students, they come to school by catch the bus or catch the car, taxi. But some students, they come to school, walk to school by walking. 
So each one is different. And this is the morning routine. You are different from me and I am also different from someone else. I want you to write from your notebook, for example, I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I have a shower. I have breakfast. I wash my hands. I, I wash my face. I want you to write these sentences in your notebook, please. These are all about morning routines. And I prepared for you a worksheet. Hope you all try to answer them. It's easy. Don't be afraid. And let me show you, please. Okay, here is the worksheet for you, grade three and B. Right. I have bring for you some pictures about the animals, birds, fish. You have to write the name of them. Number one, what is this pretty, pretty what? You have to write the name. Number two, look at this. The mommy and the baby in the pocket. What does it mean? You have to write, okay? Number three also. This one. Number four. It says hi for you. Number five. Number six, dangerous. And what is your favorite animal or bird or fish? Okay? Because I know some, some students, they like animal. Some of them, they just like bird. And some of them, they just like fish. So you have to write an answer. My favorite animal is blah, blah. My favorite bird is, my favorite fish is. And here we have complete the words. Have a what? This is about the daily routines, okay? Brush, brush what? Get, catch, catch what? And number five, walk dash. Walk where? Okay. Write about your morning routine. I want you to write about your morning routines here. Okay? How do you start your daily, your morning routines? This is the worksheet. I hope you all answer them. And I love you all. I miss you all, my dear students. Have a nice holiday. Bye-bye. See you soon.